Okay, so something else that's uh, important here is, uh, as I said, you want to make it so that you have these two um, mixers, or not mixers, but sort of the decks uh, up on the screen. And earlier in the previous video uh, scene where I was showing the actual uh, Pioneer DJ uh, DDJ SB2 Serato controller, I showed that button that I clicked. And so right now I'm clicking, and uh, you, this is deck three on the left hand side, and deck four is uh, the right hand deck when you are using the controller. And the reason for that is that you don't act, there's a deck one and two in the program is just no controller it's you using the mouse in order to control it decks three and four is if you add the two decks on the controller device so again as i said sometimes you have to mess around with it a little bit but clicking deck four um, the button on the controller is then going to allow you to put your song onto the controller and then you're going to start using the controller to control the program so i just pressed play for example on my uh controller now i'm this is actually playing out of my headphones which i have i found that my mic is having a problem um but so you can do all sorts of effects and you know things like that Trust me, the track has more bass than that, but it's just because it's playing out of my headphones, so you can only hear the highs. So anyway, you might have to mess around a little bit with the clicking that button on the controller to get it to register. I'm going to turn it down so it doesn't distort the sound. So that it so that it registers that okay, now we're using the controller and not using the decks just that are in the program that you just use your mouse for. And as I said, sometimes you have to adjust the volume a few times, the the channel volume on the actual controller, in order for the program to understand that, oh, yes, the controller is on and it's working and it's connected to the virtual deck four. So again, like I said, I just do the volume up and down a few times. And I've literally had it be completely silent. And if I didn't know to turn the volume all the way up and then back down at least once, I could have sat there probably for the whole night, I guess, and never have gotten it to work. So I hope that these tips and tricks have helped you. Um, the main things, again, just making sure that you that it knows the controller is on by, if nothing else, restarting the computer with the controller already plugged in. Um, and... You're not going to hear the volume most likely coming out of your program when you're mixing on the decks. At least I haven't figured out a way to play it simultaneously on my um, computer while I'm actually uh, DJing live. But the thing is, if you go and you press this record button, it is. As long as you see stuff going on on the master here, even though it's not going to play out of your, and I'm going to turn my headphones down, but see, right now there's no sound coming out of anything. But I can listen to it on the headphones if I wanted to, and I could just DJ with the headphones actually and just mess around with the headphone level and the Q versus master level. You could totally do a DJ set with just your headphones on. You could do it at the middle of the night with family in the house and you wouldn't wake them up. But um, but it is registering. If I press this record, it is going to record the sound as it, sound, as it would sound if you could hear it playing back to you. And like I said, if you take those uh, wires on the back and you plug them in somewhere, to a mixer and connect them to speakers, then you can also listen to it live while you're mixing. 
but you're not going to be able to listen from my experience just by plugging in the device into the computer with the USB port. And I guess it has something to do with the sound card or whatever. I'm not, you all know, I'm not that technical about it, but um, you have to provide your own source to listen back. Or like I said, you can use those headphones and just put them in that side headphone jack which actually I am going to start doing more, I think, because I love the the just ease of just having my headphones in there. I can control it real quick. I don't have to turn on the speakers. I don't have to worry about it being loud. I don't have to keep taking the headphones on and off. I can just kind of do it for fun in my, uh, in, in my headphones only. So I'm going to take that record off. So it just recorded the, uh, the program or the, set that i played and yeah so that's basically hopefully you're going to be able to get it working once you've done that and if you have any questions just leave them and i will try my best to answer them